on the bench, of course, last year, and he brings plenty of experience despite the fact that he's coached in just two full seasons so far. He has three conference titles and, of course, the NBA championship with Cleveland and a 10-1 record in closeout opportunities. They could have used that in that Denver series. So no excuses for Paul George and his teammates to be better. I'm my toughest critic um, at the end of the day. Um, I know what's not good and what's not acceptable. Uh, last year was an unacceptable year for me, um, and I know that. Um, you know, so uh, I had a, a off season to train. I didn't have an off season last year going into a season. Um, I, got, I got my off season back this year going into this season. Um, so I feel really good, feel in a great place. I've been working hard, um, you know, just putting a lot of hours in and, and working on my body and, and being in the gym. So, um, man, uh, the same way I stepped into my season two in Oklahoma is the same way I'm approaching this year. And, um, you know, I'm comfortable. Uh, I know the guys here. Um, we got a great culture, great staff, a great locker room. Um, Again, I'm comfortable, um, and, and that's when I'm at my best, when I'm comfortable. For me, it's just about, like, this year not skipping any steps. Uh, you know, I'm definitely motivated. Uh, I want to win. The difference of this offseason is it's, it's a quick turnaround, you know what I mean? Uh, so rather than other offseasons taking more time off, you're, you know, I'm doing stuff to, you know, maintain my body to stay ahead of the curve during that time. And physically, I, I feel good. I'm motivated. I'm ready to start. I want to get back after it. Um, you know, uh, it does leave a bad taste in your mouth blowing a 3-1 lead, but, you know, I love it. Uh, you know, these are things that build, that build the player. Um, it's the things that I like, the, the challenge and, uh, you know, the road of going to a championship is hard. And I, I love the process. I love, I'm enjoying the process still. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how strong we are and see if we can build from things like this. It's what makes players. Well, you have to think the comfort level is going to be much greater for both PG and Kawhi. A lot of familiar faces still on that roster, including a couple of the newcomers who came on late last season. Reggie Jackson is back. Marcus Morris returned on a new four-year deal. One of the newcomers is Luke Kennard, uh, who the Clippers traded for in the offseason. Had a great offensive season last year, Greg, with Detroit, although he only played 28 games. How important a pickup might he be? I think he could be invaluable if what we saw from that small sample size is who he's evolved into, right? Career high in points, field goal percentages, assists. Uh, he had a terrific season and, and really started to settle into this game at the NBA level. And I think he's going to be vital. Landry Shamit had flashes, uh, but I don't think they got enough. But I'll go back to it, though. It's still going to come down. You heard the comments from George and from Leonard. Those guys have to develop into leaders that everybody else trusts and buys into. I mean, even when you look at the great players in our league, when they've had disappointment, we've never heard the sniping about them as leaders, right? You, you haven't heard that when the Warriors have struggled or when uh, LeBron and, and the Cavs struggled and, and didn't get it done. And so that's something that's got to be addressed, and it's got to be addressed from the beginning. Those two guys have to be the leaders, first and foremost, by example, which they were not a season ago, to earn the trust of the rest of that roster. Well, the Clips will get right to it opening night against the L.A. Lakers. Then on Christmas Day, and that uh, December 30th game against Portland could be a little spicy, considering how their mm. playoff series and didn't remember all that. Uh, play NBA pick them team win totals to predict whether the Clippers will go over or under the projected win total for the season. Play free starting December 11th at NBA.com slash pick them. And the number for you, Greg, uh, is 47 wins in their 72 regular season Ooh. game schedule. What do you got? Uh, that's a tough one. Uh, I'm going to say they're going to be, I, I don't think they go over that. Uh, I, I hmm. think they're going to probably get to it. So I'm, I'm going to have to go with that. And as a playoff team, is this team better suited to get beyond where they were last year? I mean, I could see the Clippers going either direction, to be honest. Well, the problem that they're going to have is that a lot of other teams got better and have more confidence. Dallas is going to be better, right? You look at Denver, they're going to be better. Portland has improved as well. 
And so I just think it's going to be far more of a challenge for this group to get back to the point where we thought they would be a season ago as the team that everyone thought would be the favorites. Not going into the season favorites this year, that's for sure.